I have here the Bayonetta 1, the game launched for Nintendo Switch on February 16, 2018, so the same date as the Bayonetta 2. As you can see here, the game is also amazing and as you can know from my YouTube channel, first I played the Bayonetta 2, um, that was my choice, and now I'm playing this, uh, this uh, Bayonetta 1, basically this Bayonetta 1 is a prequel for the Bayonetta 2 and you will see the story of uh, this witch Bayonetta or Cesara uh, she's a, an uh, Umbra witch and the game it's amazing the graphic it's astonishing uh, also the cinematics um, are super awesome you will fight all kind of demons angels and all kinds of mega monster and bosses uh, the moves are amazing the fight it's uh, it's amazing this umbra which has all kind of, of movements and you can slow down time uh, to better uh, destroy your enemy or you can apply torture attack on your enemy so the story is amazing uh, if you haven't tried those games I'll advise you to play this one first and after that the Bayonetta 2 but anyway uh, it doesn't matter if you play Bayonetta 2 or 1 or, or in any other order the experience will be amazing this package Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2 it's one of the best package uh, with games available for the Nintendo Switch the graphics are amazing I must say in Bayonetta 2 um, everything gets better than uh, this uh, than uh, in this first game uh, that was my impression at least the colors are more vivid but this game it's also crazy and super beautiful and I will advise you to play it you will be um, immersed in a story in a great story uh, with action fighting and uh, overall it's something very very beautiful and I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, please like, share, subscribe, thanks. I will let you to watch a gameplay with this uh, game, this Bayonetta 1 and I will post some other videos on my YouTube channel, just check my YouTube channel and you will see them there also you can find the Bayonetta 2 on my youtube channel you will have the full game and that's it it's an amazing uh, experience thanks for watching please like share subscribe thanks Long since erased from the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be. The Umbra Witches, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the light. The clans paid each other great respect, and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. 
Yet one day, that balance must come. Harmonious clans fell into disagreement and stoked the flames of hatred against each other, resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Luma threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Despite the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secret dark witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended in the Umbra Witches. Victory was short-lived. Fearing the witch's dark abilities, humans began to condemn the remaining Umbra. They launched the witch hunts, rounding up the battle-weary witches with little resistance and subjugating those who wished to continue the struggle. Human faith in the miracles of their god pushed the witch hunts further, and soon the Umbra witches, keepers of the darkness, were extinguished from the earth.
looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Even all that men the destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. for all Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I'll tell you what. Well then, adios. What the fuck? They're here? For this douchebag? Ah! I hate this damn light. I can't see a thing. I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh, my God! Dear Lord, grant us guidance and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. Tired. Let me tuck you in. Next time you put your hands on me, you better make sure I'm dead. Now move out the way. Yes.
your last call. No more shots from me to Bayonetta.
Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no quarter for you in this world. should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is going to cost to fix? How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Engine still purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you. You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Uh -huh. Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before this shit hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave 
Oh! <laughs> 